A growing problem in our state schools. More than 14,000 students are now under quarantine in Mississippi. This comes as more outbreaks were reported to the state, forcing school systems to return to virtual learning. Fox 23 News COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker is here with a look at what's happening with schools in Hattiesburg. Three school districts in Forest County are now dealing with COVID-19 outbreaks, sending dozens of students, teachers and staff into quarantine. One of those outbreaks was reported at N.R. Burger Middle School, where six students tested positive over the last week. Another 119 students are currently quarantined. At Hattiesburg High School, seven students tested positive in the last week. 68 other students are in quarantine. And at Forest County Agricultural High School, 102 students are under quarantine orders, along with two staff members, after an outbreak was reported there. Now, the state refers to an outbreak anytime there are three linked cases within one school building, and that's where these designations came from. Meanwhile, four schools in Petal are dealing with an increase in cases, including Petal High School, Middle School, Upper and Lower Elementaries. And another 38 students from Lily Burney Elementary are now in quarantine. Now, although many children and teens may suffer from only minor symptoms associated with COVID-19, that is not always the case, especially among teachers and staff. And that's why it's so important to continue following the rules, washing your hands, social distancing, and wearing a mask, and limit what you do outside of your home and your immediate family for a while. Now, I spoke with Ashley Jackson from the Hattiesburg Public School District earlier today. She says they are closely monitoring the situation and contact tracing those positive cases, but for now, there are no plans to switch to virtual learning. They will remain in person, at least for the time being, but they will continue watching those cases and monitoring those students closely. I also reached out to Forest Agricultural High School to get their take on the situation and have not yet heard back. Reporting for Fox 23 News at 9, I'm COVID-19 Specialist Amanda Decker.